this will be a short introductional video on the optics by identifier series, which are a single channel uncooled thermal imaging bioculars designed especially for military and law enforcement personnel for prolonged observation and reconnaissance. By identifier allows target detection and recognition in completely passive mode on short and mid-range distances. The sensitive thermal core and the intelligent digital video processing provides a crisp image in all weather conditions. The device allows video and image recording, has a tripod mount, analog video output, and or Wi-Fi streaming for remote observation. The delivery set of the Bidentifier 100 includes your soft Cordura transport bag with the device inside. You will see the objective protective cap, a leather hand strap, a leather neck strap, rubber eye pieces, your instruction manual, two cables, USB and video, a lens cleaning tool, a lens cleaning cloth, a set of eight batteries, on the side you will find the charger with three cables, one for 12 volt, one for 110 volt, one for 230 volt, and the charger itself. Key characteristics of the Bidentifier 100. You have a 640 by 480 detector resolution with a 17 micron pitch size, a 100 millimeter objective focal length, video and image recording, USB flash memory, biocular design, weather type modes, a robust casing, and it can be both used as a handheld device or mounted on a tripod. Human figure can be detected at more than 2,700 meters and recognized at more than 900 meters. A vehicle can be detected at more than 6,700 meters and recognized at a distance of more than 2,200 meters. In the front, you will find the objective protective cap, a 100 millimeter objective, your focus ring, a video and USB port, the battery compartment, which you access by twisting and pulling the cap. You can use both two and four batteries to operate. When you insert the batteries, take care to have the plus and minus symbols correctly put. You close the cap. By closing and twisting. On the side, you will find a rubber grip, you will find a hand strap, a neck strap, interpupil adjustment, diopter focus adjustment, on off switch, rubber eyepieces, a point where you can mount a tripod and a set of three multifunctional buttons on the top. To connect your video or USB cable to the device, you need to open the port and insert the cable following the correct instructions. The main operations are performed through the buttons on the top side of the device and the integrated functions exceed the number of the three control buttons. Some features are triggered by a combination of buttons or temporarily pressing and holding the buttons for a specified duration. Digital zoom. Press the Z button to activate two times digital zoom. Press it a second time to activate four times digital zoom. The current digital zoom is shown at the top right corner of the screen. Please note that the digital zoom reduces the quality of the image. Pressing and holding the Z button for more than 2 seconds takes a snapshot. Luminance Polarity The device has 4 fixed values of the display luminance. 
With prolonged use of the device in low lighting conditions, the lower luminance levels are recommended. This results in optimal energy consumption and greater observation comfort. Press and hold the button for more than two seconds to invert the image. For example, warm objects appear in dark tones, cold and white, and vice versa. Nook Non-Uniformity Correction Each element of the detector array is susceptible to generate a signal different from the signals of other elements under the same conditions of observation. This non-uniformity leads to the appearance of a geometric noise in the picture. This effect is especially evident in uncooled systems. Therefore, it is necessary to perform a non-uniformity correction periodically during operation of the device. The NUC algorithm is activated manually or automatically through specified intervals by pressing the end button. Pressing and holding the button for more than two seconds deactivates the auto NUC function as the icon automatic NUC disappears. In that case, the NUC will be carried out manually only when pressing N. By pressing the end button again and holding it for more than two seconds, activates the auto NUC function and an icon appears on the upper left corner of the screen. To activate the menu, press the Z and N buttons simultaneously, then use the Z and N buttons to move the cursor and the luminance button to select the function. Rangefinder Study a metric rangefinding function allows measuring approximate distances to a known object. In order to do that, select the object type you are observing. Align the marker so that the base of the observed object fits above the bottom line and below the upper line. Once the object is fitted between the borders of the marker, you will see on the left side of the screen displayed the approximate distance to the object. Submenu features. Snapshot shows the number of recorded and available snapshots. To make a snapshot, press Z and hold the button for more than two seconds. Record. By selecting on in the record menu, an automatic video recording starts. A camera icon will appear in the upper right corner. To stop recording, select off in the menu. The record function can also be activated by button Z and brightness pressed simultaneously and held for more than two seconds. Language. In the language menu, a preferred language can be selected. Available languages are English, German and Russian. NUC type. The non-uniformity correction, or NUC, of the signal is a complex electronic process, which requires a uniform temperature body in front of the detector or the objective lens. For the convenience of the user, the device has a built-in motorized mechanism for performing nuke procedure by automatically dropping a miniature shutter plate in front of the detector. The process takes less than a second and is accompanied by an acoustic noise resembling a click. Selecting the nuke type changes the nuke mode between internal and external. In situations requiring maximum suppression of the external noise, the device can operate in external shutter mode, which isolates the operation of the motorized mechanism. When the external shutter mode is activated, the motorized mechanism of the shutter is blocked and the auto nuke function is deactivated. Standby. When the standby function is on, the device will be powered on every time when the tilt angle is less than 45 degrees to both sides and 60 degrees upwards and downwards. As soon as these conditions are not fulfilled, the device will automatically switch to the standby mode. Brightness. Selecting brightness gives the opportunity to set your own user-defined level of brightness. Brightness is not related to the luminous adjustment performed by the button brightness. Contrast. Selecting contrast gives the opportunity to set your own user-defined level of image contrast. Weather type. Image quality strongly depends on the weather conditions. When the weather is wet, for example fog or rain, 
the dynamic range of the scene is reduced, causing low contrast performance of the device. We develop three different filters, wet, normal and fog. Filters. This type of filters affect the object edges. You may choose between three filters, smooth, normal and sharp. Default and recommended value is normal. Palette. Allows switching between white hot, red hot, black hot and isotherm palettes. The objects above the threshold temperature are colored in different shades of red. The temperature threshold can be set. 